cataractcoach.com. Mastering Divide and Conquer. It's January and it's time to get your skills up to speed. Here's a beautiful case of Divide and Conquer. Let's look at this case in detail. There's a Rex. It's important to have a good Caps Rex because you're going to be dividing this nucleus into pieces, putting some stress on the Caps or bag. If you have a run out here, you can get it zipping around to the post of your Caps will be in trouble. Here's Hydro Dissection. Very important to get good hydro dissection. Why? Because you have to rotate the nucleus for divide and conquer, right? What's my saying? If it does not spin, you will not win. There's a little more viscoelastic going inside the eye. Let's get this thing spinning. Here we go. Sinski hook through the side port. Now you can just rotate with the cannula from hydro dissection, but you can use a Sinski too. Look at that beautiful spinning. Now you know it's going to be good. Here comes the phaco probe. Now, first, we're going to sculpt the grooves. So what settings do you want for the FACO for the grooves? Think about it. Well, you want a relatively low vacuum. You're not trying to vacuum out a lot of stuff at a time, right? So vacuum less than 100 millimeters of mercury. What about for flow? Eh, flow rate of 15 or 20 cc's a minute ought to do it. And what about FACO power? Well, it depends on the density of the nucleus. But I think in a case like this, using a power of about 20, 30, 40 percent ought to do it. It's not too dense of a cataract. Nice looking grooves here. Remember, the grooves are deeper in the center and then shallower towards the periphery. Deeper in the center, shallower towards the periphery. Very nicely done. Look how the eye stays in primary as the groove is being done. The surgeon is doing a great job here. Now, if you're a young surgeon and you do this groove and the, and the eye keeps moving towards the nasal canthus, that's not good. So now, going inside the eye again with the chopper, or since Gook, whatever you got, rotating it. And let's see, rotating 90 degrees. So now doing the second groove. Here again, divide and conquer. You're making this plus sign. You're going to make a total of uh, two trenches that are the length or the width of the nucleus. Those go all the way across. So now rotating a little bit more. And you can enlarge this a little bit, make it a little bit longer. And so this is going to give you this plus sign, this plus shape. And then you're going to split the cataract into these four quadrants. So it's a four quadrant divide and conquer. And this allows you really to break up the category into four small pieces. And here's the last of the grooving. So this surgeon's on all four grooves, or two long grooves, but four groove segments. And now look, split them apart. You saw that crack? Good. And make sure you can crack it all the way through to the posterior capsule. There's another crack. Don't worry if they're attached centrally. That'll open up once you get all these completed. Here's another. Ah, oh, there it is. Very nicely done. And then you one more. There are all four quadrants now. So now you can change your vacuum settings to higher vacuum now, a little higher flow. I like the surgeon making sure that piece is separated. So now what do you want? You want higher vacuum, at least 250 millimeters of mercury, maybe three or 400. You definitely want a little bit more phaco power to emulsify this thing, and you want to increase your flow rate, let things happen a little bit faster. So at least 25, 30 cc's a, a minute. So now you can see that piece was brought up, a little bit of a sub chop. I like that technique too. So divide and conquer is usually what we start off teaching the residents earlier in their career, and you can certainly master this. If you've already mastered, great, don't worry. Tomorrow I'm gonna to show you stop and chop, and then you know I love to teach you guys how to do fake or chop. So pieces are all coming up here, very nicely done. And then, yep, rotate, 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 get these pieces coming up here. Very nice, rotate a little bit more, a little bit more, there you go. And now about half the nucleus is remaining, and these pieces can be brought up very nicely. So divide and conquer, great technique. Not something I use on a routine basis, but you know, there's an advantage. If you look at the surgery here, how big were each of the quadrants? They weren't 25% because you got to take account of the amount of the groove that was done. So they were a bit smaller, maybe even just shy of 20% each. So nice, very manageable quadrants of the nucleus to remove. And that can be helpful in an eye, let's say with a shallow anterior chamber, highly hyperopic eye, etc. So beautifully done here. And then uh, this is a good move to learn divide and conquer and then go to stop and chop. End of the case, last little bit of nucleus coming up here. There we go. Now be careful. Don't let the posterior capsule come up towards the phaco tip. That's nice. Let me just speed up the rest of the case. The rest of the case is routine. A little cortex cleanup. Oh, I like the bimanual setup. Very nicely done here. And then we'll get the lens and show you the rest of the case again at high speed. So switching hands with the bimanual, go to the other side, nicely cleaned up. And we can judge the Rex's size at the end here once you get the eye well in the capture bag. There we go, viscoelastic. Hey, did I tell you about Cataract Coach, the website? Yeah, you got to leave YouTube for a minute. But if you do, I promise you'll be richly rewarded with a free Cataract Coach PDF book. A whole series, 25-part curriculum series about learning how to do fake -o chop divide and conquer, stop and chop. All those things are on there. You can learn all of them. And it's free. 
Anyway, finishing up the case here. This looks pretty good. Again, it's January. This is your New Year's resolution. Become a great surgeon. And that means you've got to master all these different techniques. The first one here is stop and chop. So definitely master this technique. Thanks for watching.